We, we have Yevhenia Kravchuk. She's a Ukrainian MP who joins, joins us live, member of parliament, also with, a, with us live uh, from Ukraine. Uh, Yevhenia, thank you for speaking to India today. Good to see you. You're okay at this time. Uh, uh, my first question to you, Yevhenia, is that uh, a ceasefire has just been announced by Russia in four major cities of Ukraine. The general reaction from Ukraine is one of disbelief. They're saying that there is no such thing as a ceasefire. We'll only believe it when we see it. Is that ceasefire, in your view, happening in Kyiv, Mariupol, no. Sumy and Kharkiv? No, it's a fake ceasefire. And what Russians are trying to do, they say uh, that uh, people from Kyiv, from Kharkiv, can go to Russian Federation to uh, in so-called green corridors. Not to Ukrainian cities where uh, people are waiting for them, our authorities to help them and to evacuate to, uh, for example, Western Ukraine, but to Russia. So we see it as a fake ceasefire just to let our people out of these cities and to keep them as hostages in Russia. Uh, also, we had some uh, cases before when uh, Russian soldiers in one of the blocked smaller cities near Kyiv, they were collecting civilians to put them in front of the tanks so our so uh, uh, our army could not be uh, could not be shooting into these russian tanks so uh, can you imagine the level of hypocrisy of russians they want to use civilians they want to use children and they want to use women as um, a life shield for their troops so we do not believe them we are waiting for um, a ceasefire that will be uh, confirmed by the red cross and we need Red Cross together with us uh, to evacuate these people. Also, uh, we as members of parliament, uh, those who are in these regions who are uh, bombed and shelled um, most of all, we are ready to accompany uh, these uh, green corridors uh, with ourselves. If Russian soldiers want to kill our civilians, they will have to kill us as well, and the whole world will see it. Yesterday in uh, in Mariupol, it's uh, a city in Donetsk region, one of the most bombed cities. It almost was, um, you know, uh, raised from erased hmm. from uh, from the face of the earth. Uh, Russian soldiers during so-called ceasefire shoot an 18 month old child, mm. a boy who just started walking. His parents brought him on, on their hands into the hospital, but the kid uh, did not leave. So that is the signs that Russians do not give the proper ceasefire. We demand a proper green corridor with Red Cross, if needed, with um, Ukrainian members of parliament to accompany and to um, take these uh, people into uh, more safer uh, places in Ukraine. Uh, Yevhenia, you know, the Russians are also accusing Ukraine and the Ukrainian military of, of uh, using human shields, that the civilians who are picking up arms, uh, you know, while it is portraying to the world that, you know, brave Ukrainians want to fight for their country, the Russians are saying that Ukraine is also using these people as human shields. How do you respond to that? All people who want to fight, mostly men, can get a gun and save their house. Yeah. Imagine if someone goes to your home, kill your wife, I'm sorry to say, and try to kill your child. What do you think what man will do? It will take a gun and kill the soldier who came to the soil and want to uh, to kill uh, the whole, you know, to erase the whole country uh, from the uh, face of the earth. And believe me, Russians are so liars. They've been lying for eight years about this war. You have your correspondents in Ukraine. They probably uh, tell you what is the uh, real situation uh, in Ukraine. Each city will fight for its freedom, will fight for its state, mm. and will fight for um, every Ukrainian on this soil. Uh, and uh, by the way, in Russia, they're trying to shut the mouth 
to everyone. They closed uh, all the independent media in Russia. They closed Facebook. They closed Twitter. They closed. Um, they put a law. Yeah. Uh, um, go. Uh, you know, sending people for 15 years in jail uh, if someone speaks not as official version of uh, Minister of Defense of Russia. They lying about uh, their casualties. More than 11,000 of Russian soldiers are already killed in Ukraine, and they are lying. It's a couple of hundreds. They even do not let um, uh, these uh, soldiers to be uh, taken back to to their wives, to to their mothers. Uh, they burn them in crematoriums, and uh, they just uh, you know make uh, the mass graves, yes. not to give these bodies back to uh, Russian mothers. So Russians are lying in this war and they have been lying for many many years and they want to shut the mouth even uh, for russians who protest over 4000 of russians were arrested when they went into peaceful uh, manifestations in many many cities in uh, in russia Yevenia, uh, stay safe. Thank you for speaking to India today. We value getting voices like yours, uh, you know, from a country that's under attack. It's day 12. We, uh, you know, we in India have been watching this story very, very closely because both Ukraine and Russia are our friends. India is being looked at as the world's largest democracy, which can somehow play a part in trying to bring about peace as quickly as possible. We do not want to report war. War is the last thing that the world needs right now. If, we are with the Ukrainian Prime people. Minister can speak to Putin yeah. and uh, make fact, Putin take out weapons, take out tanks, ten take out fire jets from fact, Ukraine. Yeah. Then do it, please. In because fact, uh, in other way, you cannot call Russians your friends. Because right now, Russia is a country terrorist yeah, who are it, killing it, children. I, See, 38 children are dead because Putin started this war. I just want to update you. Uh, your sentiments are right. And war is a terrible, terrible thing and shouldn't be happening. Uh, 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 in the Indian Prime Minister will be speaking to President Putin for the third time uh, later today. He's, he's just spoken to President Zelensky for 35 minutes. Long conversation. He will be speaking to President Putin as well. Yevhenia, thank you very much for speaking to India today. All the voices on India today.